Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Pop Twins back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be showing off our top 15 most expensive Funko Pops. All right, you guys, so today uh, Max is going to get started for you guys with the first one, and the first one is from Star Wars, so he's going to be telling you the price. So, for coming in at number 15, we have Queen Amandala. This one is a 2013 pop, and this one's trending at 240 dollars so yeah that's queen amandala coming in at number 15 star wars number 29 Alrighty, so it's marcus here so for the next one number 14 i'm going to be showing personally one of my favorites which is rick grimes from the walking dead this one's a san diego comic-con from 2013 right here and this one has a trending value of $310. Right here is how much we paid. We paid $135 for it. So it's gone up in value. And I really like this one. Next up. Coming in at what? Number 13. We have another Walking Dead Funko Pop. This one's coming in at $330. Walking Dead Glen number 35. This one is the limited edition 1,500 piece bloody Man of Action Figures exclusive. Manofactionfigures.com. So this is uh, 2013. Once again, to find this in mint condition back in the day, they didn't have protectors back then. So how much did we pay for that one? This one we paid 150 Yeah, we bought it from the same seller as the other one. So, so the next one I'm going to be showing you guys right here is the regular show Funko Pop and this one right here is Mordecai this one's a really cool Funko Pop this is also Funko Pop television number 47 we do have the whole collection but we just wanted to show one of them for this video here you go and the trending value on this one is 360 all right Coming up next is a horror grail. So right here we have the Funko Pop movie Scream number 51 ghost face. So this is the original one word ghost face. I'm pretty sure they only released it one time, which was the one word. Then every time after that was two words where it's split into two words. So this is number 53 ghost face. And it is authentic. The bloody knife and this um jjl sticker the year it came out plus the hot topic sticker so there it is this one is trending at 430 dollars for ghost face once it, this one actually is really nice i don't it just it just looks really good Alrighty, so the next one i'm going to be showing you guys right here is let me grab it michael myers Nope, not Michael Myers. This next one is actually from Stranger Things. This one is a Freddy Funko. You recently got this one. Correct? Yeah, so I recently got this one for Christmas. I think I paid two eighty dollars for it. This is a San Diego Comic-Con 2018 limit of 450 pieces. It is a Freddy Funko as Steve Harrington with sunglasses. This one I really like. We're trying to get all the Freddy Funkos, the Stranger Things, as well as the Golden Hopper, which that one's near impossible yeah. to find because they make customs of it, which that'll be a journey. So to this one. one has a trending value of $510. Just to let you guys know, we do get all of our values from HobbyDB because currently I think the Funko app is not as accurate. It's, it's, it's okay, but up. HobbyDB it, and eBay show more recent sales, which I like. So, coming up next, we have Indiana Jones, number 199. This is the San Diego Comic-Con 2016 exclusive Indiana Jones holding idol, golden idol. So, this one's really cool. We, we got it on Mercari for $200, which I think that, that was a steal. Because this one has been faked as well, so 
And it's also 2016, so it's going to be up eight years old, so. But what do we point out? Like, what do we search for to make sure, like, they're not fakes? So, you want to tell it's them, like, what how the JJL sticker looks. And how it's printed, right? Like, the quality yeah. of it. That's usually what I go for. And if the price is too good to be true, then it's most likely a fake or a scam. So even, like, the box color, too, right? You could sometimes tell by the colors or even on, like, the Funko Pop itself. Yeah. Sometimes, like, the the head is too, like, it's too squished or, like, the eyes are really off or something like that. But, yeah. That would be cool. There you go. Alrighty, so the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is from, it's a movie that came out, I think it was what, back in the 80s, right? But it takes place in like the 40s. So this is from, it's a Christmas one. So it is Bunny Suit Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Gemini exclusive and it is flocked as well. This one was limited to, what, 480 pieces? I heard yeah. that this pop would just, um, like, sit on the website, like, right when it came out, that nobody really wanted it, yeah. and now it's trending at, like, 500 plus, and last sales were, like, 400 plus. Yeah, so this one on HobbyDB, it's trending at about 530. It does have liftage. Yeah, but it's a pretty cool Funko Pop. Coming up next is another Horror Grail. This one's coming in at $540, Funko Pop Movies, Friday the 13th, 01. So this is the glow-in-the-dark chase of Jason Voorhees. This is from 2015. It's not OG release, which is 2010 yeah. for these, I think. So yeah, that's Jason Voorhees. This one is a nice one. This one, I believe, has been faked as well. So once again, you just have to... Look for the correct stickers at the bottom. Make sure that they're good. And just do research because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of articles out there showing the real versus the fake. So Yeah. But then another thing yeah. to also look at are also the glow on these as well because they do have, I think, three different glows. And some masks are translucent. Yeah. So this next one I'm going to be showing you guys is from the movie Halloween and it's number 03. This is also the limited glow chase of Michael Myers right here. This one is personally one of the favorites in my collection. It was such a good movie, the original. So this one, I again got off Mercari. I think I paid somewhere around 200 to 300 for this one. Uh, I know I got two from him as well, the guy I bought it from. And this Michael Myers glow is trending at about $540. So I do think it's a pretty good price I paid compared to what they're trending at. So I think that's a good thing. So the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is personally one of my favorites right here. This is from Back to the Future. This is the Plastic Empire Limit 3000 Pieces Marty McFly Plutonium Glow. This is personally one of my favorite Funko Pops that ever came out. I really enjoyed watching this movie and just to find this Funko Pop in good condition, I just, I really liked it a lot. So this one, I did trade a couple Funko Pops for it. So I think I came out, I think total with the trades was 500. Mm, so seven. what we did is we got the Freddy Funko as Glow in the Dark Darth Maul. We traded it to someone at Frankincense for 300 cash, put it towards this. And then we paid 200 so... So 500 Yeah, technically 500 It has a trending value of 690 But I just looked last night at, like, the last sale on eBay, and the last sale was 800 plus. So I do think they're going to keep on going up because people are buying them for their collection, and they're not going to want to sell them. Yeah. So, yeah, that's one thing. This is one of my favorites right here. Coming up next, this is what, number 13? No, num not number 13, number 11. Yeah, no 12. Number 12. So this one is coming in at $610. Oh, wow. It's Adventure Time Finn number 32, Glow in the Dark, 
San Diego Comic-Con 2013, 1,008 pieces. So once again, I picked this up. It's going to be a year now since I've had it in the collection. I picked it up for 275. Now it's trending at 610. Last sales have been around 650, which I think that's a bit crazy that it, it just went up so high. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen, if you guys haven't seen Adventure Time, I suggest you guys go and watch it, give it a try. It is a pretty cool series to watch with all the characters and the Funko Pops are really great as well. We, yeah. yeah. So coming up next, this is another Adventure Time pop coming in at $570. It is Fiona and Cake. So this is the, the two, two pack, pack right? that released in 2013. This one's a little bit damaged, so I got it for 250 But, so, I mean, that's still a good price considering it's trending at 570 Yeah. Yeah, that's really great. They also had some that came with the HMV sticker, right? Yeah. But I'm happy with this one because we got it for 250 The HMV stickers I've seen on eBay, like $700. Yeah. It's, it's been trending between $500 to $700. So... That's yeah. personally a cool one just because it's like the older two-pack style. Yes. Because now they only make them with... Um, they make it without right the... So it's like the screen's on like both sides. Yeah. So it doesn't have these, but this one's really cool because it's showing you like the picture of it. Kind of like a regular Funko Pop, which I think is pretty cool. So you want to do the next two? You could do... Uh, okay. Next one. So this next one I'm going to show you guys is also Adventure Time. This one right here is Zombie Jake from the San Diego Comic Con 2013. It's this one right here. I f you're the one who bought these, so how much did you pay for this around so the time you got it? So for that one, around the time I got it, I'm pretty sure it was around like 275. And to let you guys know too, it's not like we bought these oh five six years ago. We recently bought these in like the past two years, so the values has really gone up in the past two years. So this Zombie Jake is. Coming in at a value at $550 for this one right here. So, it's a really cool one. It matches the set, so I like it. Yeah, so coming in at the number one spot is... It's $910, and it's the Adventure Time 53 BMO. So this is the Emerald City Comic Con 2016 250-piece glow-in-the-dark BMO. I've looked and looked. There's... I think like a couple on eBay for 2000 The only other one I've seen on Mercari is 1160 yeah. But I was fortunate enough to pay 1100 So it was it was a pretty tricky one for us to find this one. But sad thing is I was cleaning it and I didn't have tape on here. And with these vaulted vinyls, the lids just pop off. It got a little nick on it. But I was pretty bummed out about that. But it's on the back, so no biggie. But there it is. I'm searching for the lich, which... That'll probably be something I get in the new year. Yeah. And what's cool about my Adventure Time collection is I have doubles of everything except for Fiona and Cake and the two Emerald City Comic Cons. So, yeah. Now, do you want to pick out, like, one favorite from the ones we showed? Like, your personal favorite? Mm, yeah. I already know do that. Right here. Do you know yours? So let me go first. So my personal favorite from the 15 I just showed you would just have to be the Marty McFly because I've been a huge Back to the Future fan and I think it's really one of the greatest movies. And I do have um I do wish that in the future I can meet Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd and just do like a meet and greet and get some signatures. I would really enjoy that, but this is one of my favorite Funko Pops. So one of my favorite Funko Pops, I'm going to have to pick Finn, the glow-in-the-dark version. Ever since I watched Adventure Time, I just, it kind of takes you back. And just the fact that they go on adventures and it has this whole storyline behind it. It's just cool in my opinion. And yeah. I do have most of the cast signed, like Ice King, Finn, Marceline, um jake which i recently yeah, got yeah we do have like a bunch of signed funko pops as well and princess bubblegum signed so yeah that's i i really like the show i haven't yeah. watched like the hbo max ones i know the fiona and cake they just came out i think with a season two or they just they released it online but they didn't like come out with it yeah. officially plus they also have like 
another version of Adventure Time, Distant Lands, I think that's what it is, yeah. which I haven't watched that either, but I'm going to have to watch that next year. So. All right. So that's it for this video, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and let us know in the comments what was your favorite Funko Pop that we showed today out of the 15. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing and following us on Instagram. We really appreciate it. So just make sure you go like this video, comment. If you haven't already, just please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to us, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye. See you.